Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. I'm sure you know that uh, church attendance has been down since COVID, uh, not just at Walden Church, everywhere. Uh, I got friends in other states across America and everyone's pretty much seeing the same thing. And for whatever reason, people just didn't return to church. Maybe that was uh, the excuse that they were waiting for. Maybe uh, church was just stressing them out or it was just one more thing, you know, especially now that school started. Man, we're all getting pulled in a bunch of different directions. You got soccer practice and stuff happening after school. And so I can see where thinking that taking church out of your week could be less stressful, you know, have one less thing to worry about. So how's it been? Has it been less stressful? Have you found that by removing church from your week, you've had less stress? Because that's what we always pray for, I think, when we pray. We, we, we come up against a trial or a tribulation or some sort of stress or something that's, that's worrying us, and we pray that God removes it. God, I don't want this stress. I don't want this worry. I don't want this trial, right? And I'm wondering if that's what God wants. You know, God's a parent. God is also a parent. God is your parent. He is your heavenly father. And so as a parent, do you think that it's God's wish that you lead a comfortable, relaxed, stress-free life? I don't. I don't think it's the best option to always shelter your children and to keep them as safe as possible. I think sometimes trials and problems and struggles are good because those are the things that teach us. Those are the things that grow us. See, I don't think God wants me to lead a stress-free, problem-free, worry-free life. I don't think that's what God's looking for in my future or my retirement. I think what God wants is he wants me to be a child of God. He wants me to be the man or woman of God that he has made me to be. The book of James says that God wants me to be complete, to be mature, and to be lacking in nothing. And that that growth comes through the trials and struggles. So maybe instead of praying against them, we need to pray alongside them and pray, not that God removes them, but that we learn from them and we, we become the men and women that God wants us to be. I don't think God wants you to have a stress-free life, but I do think God wants you to have a joy-filled life. And just like how we choose to stress, we can also choose to be joyful. This Sunday at Walden Church, we are talking about choosing joy, finding joy, and living a joy-filled life. I think when you come to church, you should receive joy. I think you should be happy. I think you should leave happy and be filled with joy. In fact, I think when you come to church, you should learn all about the love and grace that God wants you to have. Church shouldn't add to your stress. It should take your stress away. This Sunday, we have two services, one at 9.30. It's our traditional service with the choir. We sing hymns. We have communion. We say the Lord's Prayer. We do responsive readings. It's going to feel like classic church. At 11 o'clock, we have a contemporary worship service and just come however you feel casual. We want to be the church where you live. See you then.